Hi, I'm Noel from creationeffects.com and I want to quickly show you this custom haze effect or 3D fog effect for Adobe After Effects. It's a free download. You can just follow the link in the description to download it on the Creation Effects website. It's an animation preset, so once you install it, you'll be able to access it anytime uh, inside After Effects. And so in this video, I'll show you how to install it and how to customize it. It's really easy to use. Um, but first, let's take a look at what it does. This effect can be used in your 3D scenes uh, to make elements that are further away look like they're further in the distance uh, by adding a tint, which imitates atmospheric haze or fog, uh, or you can use it in underwater scenes to imitate the low visibility in water. Uh, you can see in this animation how the fish kind of fade into the background the further they are away from the camera. I made this haze effect years ago and I've been using it a lot in my templates and just found it really useful so I thought you all might find it useful too. Um, you can see these 3D scenes have a lot of 3D elements in them, 3D layers arranged in 3D space. So you can just apply the preset to all the layers together and it will automatically give the scene depth and more realism. And as I'll show you, you'll be able to customize the density and color of the fog and all that. And if you want to make your own landscape animations like these in After Effects, anybody can do it. Just go check out the Landscaper template. I'll leave a link to watch the demo video for Landscaper down below. And then these fish animations that you saw, those were made with a different template called Schools for making custom schools of fish and underwater scenes in After Effects. And the other template I use this effect in is the Ocean template, which lets you make realistic 3D bodies of water in After Effects. So I'll leave links to all of those in the description if that interests you. All right, so how, here's how to install this thing. Um, the file you download will be a zip file. So you'll open that up and you'll see two FXX files. That's the file format for After Effects presets and you'll just need to move them to the right folder. So here's where it is on a Mac. Uh, if you're on a PC, it's a different location. So I'll put up that location on the screen. Um, but on a Mac, you'll go to your Applications folder and find After Effects and then Presets. And then I recommend you create a new folder and name it Creation Effects so that uh, you'll know where to find them in After Effects. And just drop them in there. And I plan on making a lots more uh, free presets so you'll be able to download those and just keep them all in there. And after you do that, you'll be able to open After Effects and you'll see it in your Effects and Presets panel here. If you don't see the panel, just go to Windows and Effects and Presets. Okay, so I have this little 3D scene set up. I've got six fish, which are 3D layers, and they're evenly spaced along the Z axis. So 4,000 pixels apart, going all the way back to 20,000 pixels, uh, this furthest fish. And then we have this camera layer. Uh, the effect won't work without a camera. So you, you don't have to use the camera or animate it or anything, but it needs to be there. And if I hit the P key, the camera is at negative 2,000 pixels. So 2,000 pixels in front of the center of the scene. I'll look at the scene from the, the side view real quick so you can see the setup. I'll zoom out. So here's the camera and our fish. So let's add the haze effect to these fish. Uh, or in this case, it, a water visibility effect. I'll go to my presets folder and creation effects. And we've got our two haze presets here. We'll do this control layer one first. This has to go on a separate layer named haze control layer. And it can be any type of layer, but I'll just create a new null object. And I'll turn it off. We don't need to see it. And I'll rename it haze control layer. Be sure to get the name exactly right or it won't work. And then I'll add the preset. So I'll select the Haze Control Layer preset and drag it onto my Null object. And you can see in our Effect Controls panel that added a bunch of customization controls. Now I'll add the Haze to the fish. So I'll select them and double click the preset. And you can see that added a tint effect and you won't need to mess with it at all. So let's just look at our customization controls on the control layer. We've got some basic instructions here for when you use this a year from now and you don't remember what to do. Uh, and our first control is the haze color. 
This is the color the layers are being tinted. Uh, usually if it's an outdoor scene, you'll want to sample the color of your sky um, down low somewhere near the horizon. Or in this case, I'll sample the color of the water background. And next we have the visibility. Usually this would be the distance that your furthest layer is from the camera. So if our furthest fish is 20,000 pixels back from the center of the scene, and our camera is negative 2,000, which is 2,000 pixels in front of the center, then I could, I could put a value in here of 22,000. You can always put more in there if you want, like if your layers are moving forward and backward. Uh, next we have the maximum and minimum tint percentage. The maximum is how much a layer will be tinted when it's this far from the camera, so 22,000 pixels away. So if I set this to 100%, our last fish should completely disappear into the background. If I set it to 90%, you can see it's just barely there. And then the minimum tint percentage is how much a layer is tinted when it's right in front of the camera. Then we have density distribution, and when this is 50%, uh, tint is distributed evenly according to its distance from the camera. Uh, but if you wanted more haze in the front of your scene, for example, nearer to the camera, you can just lower this. And then effect strength, uh, that's just the opacity for the tint effects. You'll probably keep that at 100, uh, but this is an easy way to turn down the effect or turn it off completely. Uh, just set it to zero. And that's all there is to it. I hope you uh, like the effect and can put it to good use. There are a lot more free presets and templates on the way, so subscribe and be on the lookout for those. And if you use After Effects, I think you'll want to check out the, the other stuff at creationeffects.com. There's a lot of uh, creative and really cool looking effects there that you can customize and put in your videos.